if you have a weapon, you don't play with it and toss it around and let people walk with it that you don't know. And that's what the Second Amendment is. It's a weapon. It's a weapon against tyranny and people that take uh, government as a joke as for their own agendas. And that's the reason it's there. And that's the reason it has the word shall not be infringed in it. Because that is the only way for people to defend themselves. Otherwise, this government would care less how many people died as long as they was in control of everything and could do whatever they wanted and suck more money for uh, taxes to employ more police, which I'm not saying they'd employ more police. I, I, I think there's such cheap skates they'd probably knock back the police department. But anyway, this agenda that they have to get mess with the Second Amendment is like messing with a gun. So they're toying with a gun. They've been toying with a gun for a hundred years. They've been toying with the Second Amendment for a hundred years. So you could put all the murder committed by with handguns, rifles, shotguns, whatever you want, machine guns. You put all those right there on the people that wanted the Second Amendment changed. Who thought they could mess with the Second Amendment. And every time this... In fact, I just read where it says days before... They just got, they just released, uh, they just allowed, uh, I, I don't I, I don't know what, if it was AR-15s and AK-47s allowed to be, I don't know, used or something in Denver or whatever, Golden or whatever it was. I don't know if it was Colorado. I don't know if they had a, them banned in the city or whatever, but they just said they, or maybe in a boulder. And they just said... Like two or three days ago, they just lifted the ban. And just like all the shootings come after they... It's like these people, they want control. They, they they want as much control as they can. And there was murder no matter what. In fact, in fact serial killers were what was going around in the 70s and 80s. And uh, during the, this... Uh, in the 70s, 60s and 70s is when they, they started going against... Uh, well, it was the M16, and then it was then it was the AR-15 because they didn't know the difference. So, as soon as they banned those until what, uh, two th whenever Bush got in there and he lifted the ban on them, and their agenda hopped back on it again to create all these mass shootings so that they could get their agenda to reinstitute a ban on those weapons. So they. The Democrats, these loyalists to Britain, have and are the ones causing all this uh, murder and mayhem, chaos, and I'd even say the terrorism. So basically, I'm saying the Democrats are terrorists. And all those ones up there should be arrested for the murders. All the stuff they keep pointing their finger at is their freaking fault. They're messing with, there's been messing with the uh, Second Amendment, which is just like messing with a gun. They're messing with it, they're trying to change stuff around, and they don't know what they're doing. And the the the, the, the founding fathers knew what, exactly what this was like, because they just, they the wording they used against Britain to, or England, or whatever you want, whatever it was that they was back then. They, the wording they used caused uh outlying called the colonies what what happened is all the colonies they were these people after they found out that there was going to start being backed you know after they they heard the talk going on because this is what they did they started going against britain and this caused all these there was a bunch of uh there was uh killings in all the colonies because they was turning against britain and the people that didn't like britain and all the taxes were going and rebelling. And that's exactly what's happening now is the Democrats are trying to be just like the founding fathers. They're they're thinking they're they're acting like they probably thinking to themselves, oh we're stepping right in their shoes and this is exactly what it was like during the revolution. And this is the reason, you know, people die, it's because we're doing something, you know, 
they're they're going off of, of this country being uh, made right, and if and, and except they're taken going against uh, Britain as being uh, there. It, it's a two way. It, it's like a double standard. They're claiming that it was right. They're loyalists, so they're claiming that you know, without claiming it was wrong, they're going to claim it was right to go against Britain. Because now they're saying that we're gonna we're just doing the same thing. We're walking in their shoes, doing the same thing. It ain't the same thing. If they knew anything about the wording in the Constitution, if they, if they might have read it, but they're lawyers, and I don't care. I don't care uh, how much school you have. If you can't understand, you can't understand. You can read, and you can uh, associate, and uh, you can get by on on lessons and studies but if you don't know what is being said in the constitution they have no depth of the the the, the knowledge in them knowing the the founding fathers knowing what it was like to start talking against the monarchy the 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 king of england they when they started talking against that that put everything in motion, and all these colonies started. These the, the rebellion started. There, there might have been rebellion started before, when it was just you know people, uh, you know the thought or, or murmurs. Anyway, but they're they're trying to say that they're walking in the shoes of the founding fathers, which they aren't, because they're not better in this country. They're doing. They're in fact they're bringing the war. They're bringing a civil war back, or not a civil war. Uh, is it's basically a cross between the it's it, maybe it's a loyalist war maybe that's what this is because well I did another video but I'm saying that this is a democrat agenda that's causing all these mass shootings because they want the, they they just pounced on they'll they'll just pounce on this as a as a whole they pounce whether they realize it or not which is the problem they don't they maybe real maybe they do realize maybe they don't I don't care maybe some do some don't. maybe the leaders do and they know that their their leadership will bring that pounce and they just they just you know whatever it is to get people to pounce on a subject and they're pouncing on these people that are doing the shootings. And, of course you don't know if you if you haven't thought about this or anything like that then you don't uh, I'm not going to write a volume on psychology because it, then I'd have to be arguing with psychologists because they're going to claim I, I don't know what they're going to I could care less because I don't think anything's the truth in this country has been so twisted that there isn't any anymore and that's where they're at they're just like well we're going to set we're going to bring truth they're not bringing truth the only truth is that they're they're uh, con control of an agenda where they're messing with a weapon, which is a second, which is basically the Constitution because all the rights are basically a weapon. But the ones they the ones the founding fathers realize that is a very dangerous subject to mess with is a Second Amendment, and that's the reason they didn't, and that's the reason they or that's the reason they put shall not be infringed on it because they it's like a warning: do not mess with this subject. Do not touch this subject in any way. The people have the right to defend themselves against whatever. And do not touch this subject. It is a natural... It's a, and, and what they're doing is they're coming in here and they think, well, we're just going to take all this stuff away. They, they, they have, they're just control freaks. They're like childish control freaks. They're not... I don't care how old these people are. They're still childish. You see them up there. They're dancing and smiling in horrific uh, situations that they're talking about. I'm not talking about the killings. I'm talking about they're trying to take control of this country and turn it into a an unfree, uh, unfree, non-liberated. Uh, we might as well take uh, send the freaking Statue of Liberty to another country that's performing higher... Uh, uh, marks of liberty than we are because we're going backwards with this the the way this agenda is going this this going against the constitution that's our founding statement that's our bricks that's our stones that's our that's what you build your house on and everybody has is getting their rights from and then you go to change them and you try to say oh well, you can't have this you can't have that I say get, we already know that people are equal. 
We got that. We got that. It, it, but we're not going to say we're, that they're intellectually equal. We're not going to say they're uh, whatever. Leadership. People are people. And they're, the problem, problem is that they, they have a subjects, the 7 billion subjects and the 7 billion subject matter is whether it's religion, whether it's the food they eat, the clothing, whatever, uh, the rituals, doesn't matter. The way they think, the way, all that, their beliefs, structures, and all that, it's all different. And each person is different. Each person, even in religion, even if you take go to a church, all these people are going to be different things. They all have different jobs. They're not all the same. They're not all freaking uh, doing the same. They're not like blocks of uh, computers that all go in the same movement. Uh, they don't all even all believe the same stuff. You know, they they might believe. Uh, you know, if you hear preachers, what's your favorite part of the Bible? And they'll say, oh, this or that, or what's your favorite favorite part of the Quran? Oh, this or that. You know, it's not the whole, they, they don't take it as a whole, they take it as a, as a section. And they don't, you know, they don't take it as a, oh, this means uh, uh, we should be better, uh, uh, try to create a better civilization. You know, instead of uh, being uh, hurtful and stuff like that, that's basically all religion is, is don't be hurtful and, you know, it's just, you know, be a better person. Instead of just going off of uh, whatever thought comes through your head, say, oh, let's go beat this guy or let's go whatever, you know, uh, that's basically what religion is saying. And government is trying to, it was supposed to organize. In other words, instead of just chaos everywhere and uh, people just, you know, just whatever they're just, maybe they just leave a, they, they all use a restroom in some place, you know, back in the days before restrooms and they was all going in some place so they'd all just go anywhere someplace you know they, they didn't have a place they go some would go in the river and then down river all these people are getting sick anyway it's organization and uh rules of civilization where you be good and then the uh construct of rules of how to you know how we should it's not saying oh we're just going to take control and uh do what we want with the civilization it's supposed to be civilization as a whole, and the government is just the writers of that. We, it's we the people, should say, okay, we'll, we'll accept this and this. It's not a, a small group of agenda that's going to pay these people to write these laws. That's not how it's supposed to be. But that's how everything's going. And that's how people have allowed, oh, it's just the way it's always been. That's just the way it's, we're just going to have to, you're just going to have to t uh, accept that. And, and that's the way people are. And that's the problem with them. Okay, this is the, enough of this video. I'm just saying this is a Democrat problem. All these shootings, all these shootings are Democrat agenda just to get control. And, and they want control a second and it's a weapon. Just like all the rights are weapons because they, they, they take away a freedom. They take away a liberty of each and every person. And they're messing with, they're messing with your liberty. They're messing with your freedom. And they shouldn't be doing it. And they, and these killings are are there are there is that this is their democratic power. This is how they they control is by they don't care if these people are killing. They're going to say they do, but they don't. In that in their thought, you you'd have to go into their thought to say, well, no, this is helping us tremendously. But it's not helping. It's not helping uh, uh, gun owners who respect the weapon and don't mess with it. They don't. I don't sit there and I don't sit there and fumble around my weapon and throw it up in the air, you know, like when I was in the army, you don't just take them and just throw them in the air and just, well, let's just do whatever we want with it. You know, it's, uh, let's just do whatever we want. No, it ain't like it, but that's what they're doing. We're messing with the second. They're just, it's a weapon, just like all the rights are weapons and they're messing with it. And that's why people are dying. And that's the reason they put shall not be infringed, meaning do not mess with this because it's a dangerous subject. And these idiots in charge, and I don't care how many, I don't care if it's Republican, Democrat, I, I don't care who it is. I don't care, independent. You don't mess with the Constitution. That's the building blocks of this country, and it should not be messed with. Especially by elitists and people with an agenda of a small group that push their way in there and this and that's all they're doing they're just trying to kill a, with the asian killing that's a higher demographic there it is they're just moving from they got the they got the blacks 
They got the, now they have the Asians. And what's next? Hispanic? I mean, they've already killed white. The uh, the, the Colorado shooting was, it was Boulder. I don't know. Boulder's kind of a mix, mix and match. But uh, the school out there, the, uh, oh, what's it, flower? Uh, whatever that flower is that that school's named after. Anyway. Anyway. So that is, uh, you know, that was based, I think that was based, I don't know if that was a mix. I don't think that was a mixed school. I think I went through there or something, or delivered something there when I lived out there. And, and uh, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, the, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're just going to, they're just, how many, how many races are they going to hit on? And, you know, they're going to say, this guy is like, uh, they're going to try to call him a race. They're, they're just, all they got to do is label them. You know, they don't have to, this guy's not going to have a word that he could say, that he could say, well, uh, the thought came through me that, you know, uh, I'm talking, I'm talking, I think the Atlanta shooting where they, where he shot up the, uh, uh, massage parlor or whatever it was. And what, for whatever, you know, for whatever reason he was in there, but it's just, it's, it's just a collective, you know, it's like, uh, stuff rolls downhill and he's at the bottom of the hill and he got it all collected all around him and he can't get out of it. It's like, uh, it's like if you were, it, he was downloaded to whether anybody knew that it was to him. It was just, it was just, it's like we need a, you know, it's basically, they were thinking, well, we're not going to get this stuff passed, the second amendment stuff passed. So we're going to need some shootings to get everybody behind it. And that's, that's exactly what's happening. I mean, that's every freaking, it's don't mess with the constitution. It's a weapon. It's our weapon as a country to defend this country, basically, and our rights and our freedoms. And they're messing with them. They they don't want if if you if you are messing with them, then you're and the only and the only thing the only uh, amendment that should be stricken from that freaking uh, from the amendments is the sixteenth, where it's uh, we have to pay federal tax, federal income tax, and that that's all for. We've had nothing but wars, and they got so much money they're just giving it to everybody else. We never used to be like that. Hey, back before they started that, they never used to be like that. They never used to just throw money at other countries. Now, they might have bought, you know, bought islands or stuff. But anyway, eh, this is long enough.